you know, there's a lot of men out there that just can't stand to see you do better than them. They can't stand to see you rise above and come out of the matrix. You know, they can't stand to see you leave the rat race because they're stuck. They got no hope. So they want to cast that shit on you, man. They want to cast that no hopeness, you know, that 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 hopelessness on you. You see what I'm saying? So they got no way out. So they say, fuck it. This nigga ain't got no way out either. You see, that's the crab in the barrel mentality, bro. You know, and I try to stay away from that. And, and a lot of guys, they fucking act like women too, bro. That's what women do, man. Women are jealous of each other and, you know, they caddy with each other and shit like that. And these men, they just like women, bro. They just like women. They don't want to see you shine. They don't want to see you come up and do better than them. You know, when I was out with this uh, young, hot tenderoni, before the pandemic, I was dating this 19-year-old chick. Now, I'm a 37, 38-year-old, something like that. And I'm, I got this nice, hot tenderoni Asian girl on my arm, okay? I got her on my arm, went out to a dinner, all right? We hung out, and, bruh, don't you, you know I couldn't get no fucking service at that restaurant? I almost got up and left, man. Now, I flagged, I was, hung, I was hungry, man, so I flagged down the, the waiter, like, hey, man, we've been here like 20 minutes, what's up? You know, the hater rate is real when you got something good in life, bro. You you got to watch your back, because if you if you rolling with beautiful women... I mean, in Thailand, it doesn't make any difference, man, because there's beautiful women all over the place. But here in America, if you're rolling with beautiful women on your arm, bro, bro, dude's going to be checking it out, and they're going to hate, bro. They send, they send these American niggas a uh, 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 heart to fucking hate another man because he has beautiful women or a nice car or some shit like that. The hater rate is real because they don't have it. You know what I'm saying? You know, they don't have the things that you have or that you have, that you got. So, you know, that's why the reason why, I mean, I stopped talking about my, my jackpot because motherfuckers get jealous. So I stop, I stopped talking about it, but you guys keep bringing it up. Stop talking about my jackpot because I'm not going to tell you when it comes. It's bad luck to do that. Bro, you might as well sign your fucking death certificate to tell a motherfucker when you got your jackpot so they can roll up on you with ski masks and guns and take your shit and then take your fucking life. There's niggas that have gotten killed behind jackpots. I'm not lying, bro. I have read stories about that shit. So if I do get my jackpot, I'm keeping my mouth fucking shut and I'm going to skip town. You see what I'm saying? And get away from my area. No, I'm not telling you niggas what my jackpot is coming, bro. Stop asking me that. Stop, 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 because I'm not going to tell you. I don't know you. You might roll, you might roll up on me. <laughs> you know, I'm armed, so, but still, niggas could get the drop on me. You see what I'm saying? When I first hit my jackpot, I was paranoid. I thought somebody was coming out to get me. You see what I'm saying? I ran my mouth too much on shows and shows and media, bro. Same thing with, uh, what's his name, um, uh, Pop Smoke, running his mouth on social media. Some goons found out where he lived, man. They rolled up on him, they robbed him, and they killed him, man. This ain't no gang, bro. The lottery curse is real, bro. It's real. It's, it's, it's just as real as you, as you and me, man. The lottery curse is just as real as you and me. You have to keep your mouth shut. I made a mistake and told you guys. I shouldn't have told you guys from the get-go. Now it's already too late. I let the fucking cat out of the bag. I probably got, I probably got a motherfucker plotting on me right now, ready to kill me, man. For real, they'll kill you behind that shit. No joke. But a lot of you guys got a lot of hatred for me in your fucking heart because you see me doing better. And when you see me in Thailand with a nice, beautiful honey, honey, you really going to hate them. You're going to be like, God damn, this nigga done, this nigga done left the Matrix. He, he's over there in Thailand busting all kinds of nuts with these Thai women. And I'm out here still dealing with these American women. Or I'm still out here still in cell. Ain't getting nothing at all. 
You see what I'm saying? New niggas can't stand to see me come up. Just recently, bro, I hit two jackpots just recently. I ain't going to lie, bro, but they were, they were small. I hit two jackpots for $370. Two jackpots, you know, in the same week. I'm not lying. You see what I'm saying? But I'm I'm still trying to get another jackpot because it, it's, it's not enough, bro. The, the jackpot that's coming toward me, that's not enough, bro. That's going to get spent so goddamn quick. I got bills to pay and shit. I got, I got to. I got to fucking pay off my car. I got to pay off this, you know, and then I got to go overseas and see if I can invest some of that money into my, my animal breeding business. You see, niggas haven't helped me, bro. You guys have sent donations and I, I appreciate it, but that's chicken feed. And, but even though I do appreciate it, but it's not really getting me up on my feet. You see what I'm saying? It ain't like motherfuckers say, hey, man, Calcad, bro, come live in, live in my house until you get your bread up. You see what I'm saying? Or live in my house until, until you get your jackpot. It ain't break me off something, and then I can leave out the house. You know what I'm saying? After that, you know. You know what I'm saying? Until I get my jackpot, you can, until you get your jackpot, you come kick it on my couch. But you, you got to pay me some of your jackpot. I'd be glad to pay. I'd be like, hey, man, you stay at my, stay at, stay at my house. Until you get your jackpot, and then we call call it even, right? So, niggas ain't giving me no no leg up, no support. You know, just recently, man. You know what I'm saying? I need to get I needed to get my my tire fixed, and it's, uh, only a few of you guys sent donations. Only a few out of 100 and 200 or 300 people that watch me, like two or three people sent donations. <laughs> and my sister helped me out too, man. You see what I'm saying? She came to the rescue, helped me out. Why? Because I helped her, I help her out, bro. You see what I'm saying? And I told her I would help help her out once I get my jackpot. She already know about my jackpot. She knows. That's the reason why she came to my rescue. Bro, I'm worth something out here. And I told you guys that I was going to hook you up. People who've been donating on a consistent basis, I was going to hook them up with something. You know what I'm saying? Hook them up with something. I really shouldn't give anybody anything because once you give somebody something, they're going to want more and more and more and more. And then they're going to try to blackmail you or try to set you up somehow to get you to get some money from you and shit. It's really dangerous to be out here doing what I'm doing, bro. You see what I'm saying? You guys, you guys are asking me about my jackpot. I'm keeping my mouth shut. When it's coming, I don't know. You see what I'm saying? When it's going to come. So when I get it, you guys are not going to know. You're just not going to know. You see what I'm saying? It's bad luck to do that. Look at how many jackpot winners ended up dead. Okay? Or robbed. Or beaten up very badly. Or shot and, and, and put into the hospital. There was a, a rapper a while back that just got shot and put in the hospital he was lucky that they didn't kill him or them shot them them bullet wounds didn't fucking kill him. You see what I'm saying? Because he was worth something. Niggas run up on you and they rob you with masks, ski masks. It don't matter if you armed or not. They still can get the drop on you before you can pull out your weapon. You see what I'm saying? But me, man, if I said something, bro, I pull out my weapon really quickly. I, I don't I don't fucking hesitate at all. It's been a couple of times where I pulled my weapon out when I sent something, you know, like somebody following me or something like that, or, you know what I'm saying? I pull it out really quickly, bro. You see what I'm saying? Because you can't take no chances out here, man. You got no protection. Black people in this country don't have no protection at all, bro. You see you see what happened, you know, in the Pentagon. You see how they give other people rights and protection, but they don't give you no protection. But you got to protect your own self. And we talked, we're taught to hate on each other too, man. I be listening to Tupac every now and then, some of the old school classics, and he was, <laughs> some of the stuff that he say is still relevant today. It still exists to this day. Niggas are still hating on you because you get a little bit more than them. And they want to kill you, they want to rob you, they want to snitch on you. They want to do all sorts of things. 
to try to ruin you because their life is ruined and they ain't get them they ain't getting the money that you get. That's why I made a mistake of telling you guys I shouldn't have told nobody. I apologize, man, because I shouldn't have told anybody. If you ever win a jackpot, keep your fucking mouth shut and people won't bother you. If they don't know that the money's there, then how can they bother you? You see what I'm saying? You got a peace of mind. Imagine if you never told nobody about your jackpot that you have won. And you, nobody's there. Nobody can hate on you. Nobody's jealous of you. Nobody knows that you, that, that you have it. So, you know, you, you'll have a, you have a peace of mind. You see what I'm saying? I made a mistake of, of telling people that, that I hit my jackpot. So, you know what I'm going to do, bro? I ain't going to talk about it no more. I'm done. I'm done. I ain't talking about it no more. Done. This is my last time talking about it. Because niggas get jealous. They get envious. They get they get uh, all sorts of things when you fucking got a little bit more money than they do. And then they'll just doubt, doubt you. Be like, well, you ain't got the money. You ain't. I said, okay, well, nigga, okay. We'll see you in Thailand, baby. We'll see you in Thailand. And when you see me with that nice, you know, that nice way of living with the lobster steak and shrimp with the nice girl on my arm, you're going to be mad, bro. I'm going I'm to be on camera. I'm going to make a video. I'll make videos out there, bro. I'm going to make videos out there when I get out to Thailand. I'll make a brand new fucking video. I'm having a, I'm definitely going to do my, my animal breeding service. That's going to be good for YouTube. All the animals that I'm going to have going to bring a lot of views and money, bro. Tigers. Uh, I'm going to breed tigers. I'm going to breed um, parakeets. I'm going to breed fish. I'm going to breed all kinds of animals. I'm going to breed monkeys. I'm going to breed, uh, what else? I'm going to breed dogs, cats, little tiny cats. You see what I'm saying? I'm going to do it in a big house, too. Nice big house. See, when motherfuckers see all that, bro, they get really angry and jealous because their life is not going the way their life, I mean, the way they want it to go. You see what I'm saying? Their life is not going the way they wanted to go, but they want you to suffer just like they're suffering. You know, my mother and father, they wanted me to suffer because they suffered throughout their whole entire life. They didn't want me to become anything because they didn't become anything in life. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? A lot of you niggas is just like my mother and father, but jealous, hatred, envious. You see what I'm saying? Because they so fucking lazy and they don't want to fucking do anything. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Of course, my shit was luck. But I, I earned that shit, though, bro. Every single day playing those numbers. I earn it. I put a lot of money into it. You know what I'm saying? Like, what, 15, 20 grand at least for a whole year? You see what I'm saying? To get, man, I made a profit. But niggas don't want to see that. They jealous, bro. They don't want to see it. They don't want to see a fine honey on the arm. They don't want to see you out of the matrix enjoying life, bro. You get a lot of hatred for that, bro. They don't want to see you living in luxury. You see what I'm saying? They're like, oh, this nigga, he, he living in luxury. He got a nice fine bitch on his arm. He got he eating lobster steak and shrimp, all the finest foods all the time. And I'm sitting here eating top ramen, still trapped up in the matrix, dealing with these American women, dealing with single mothers, dealing with entitled women, dealing with women who are overweight, who don't want to fucking lose the weight. You see what I'm saying? You go to these other countries, these women are barely overweight. These women are, are, are in shape. You see what I'm saying? I'm looking forward to looking to living the fucking good life. How about you, bro? How about you? When you following your dreams, you are all you do is get up is get up on here and complain about these women, but you ain't got no fucking no 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 solution to the problems. You ain't got no solution. The solution is to trade these in, trade these bitches in like a deck of cards, bro. These women are done. These fin they finished. They ain't never coming back. They ain't never going away. They ain't never going back to the way they used to be. You see what I'm saying? It's done. It's finished. American women are done. You have to abandon ship. You have to get your fucking passports. I'm getting my passport next month, nigga. I'm out this motherfucker. I'm out, bro. I'm out. I'm fucking out, bro. You know what I'm saying? Kel Cat been homeless for the last I don't know how many years. I'm finally about to come up out of this shit. And niggas, are, they got hatred for me. They want me to stay down in this shit. 
They want me to stay down like them. You know, let's just let's just face it. A lot of niggas are not getting out of the matrix. You're not. Trust me, baby. You are not. You are not. You, a lot of niggas going to stay and they're going to die in the matrix. They're going to die in a rat race. They are. They're not going anywhere because they're so busy, wrapped up, thinking about what women are doing. Even though I do talk about women every now and then on this channel, but that's not my only thing I fucking talk about. I talk about getting your fucking bread up. A lot of you guys leave messages talking about, yeah, man, I'll, I'll send a, like, like one time this one guy was like, yeah, I'll send a, a donation towards your way, but I don't, I don't want to hear about getting my bread up. That's what this motherfucker said, bro. I don't want to hear about getting my bread up anymore. Like, nigga, nigga, nigga you, like you doing me a favor, bro. Bruh, you talk, you, 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 you didn't, you ain't listening to what you just said, bruh. You ain't paying attention to what you just said. You said, you said that I don't want to hear about getting up, getting my bread up anymore. I, I'll donate to your channel, but I don't want to hear about getting up. You know, you see, you see these niggas right here, bruh, they're going to stay in the matrix forever. Forever. And they ain't never coming out of this, bro. A lot of you incels, bro, I'm sorry. You niggas have to get your bread up or you're, you're finished. And you have to get your bread up and go overseas. You see what I'm saying? It takes money to go overseas. To get a nice, beautiful honey, honey on your arm, bro, you know you have to pay for all her dinners and you have to pay for her uh, 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 clothes, her, her phone. You know what I'm saying? You got to pay for her phone and shit. You got to buy her a new phone. Pay her phone bills and stuff like that. A lot of you, a lot of you niggas ain't gonna be able to do all that because you can't get money here. You ain't getting your money up here, bro. So how the fuck are you gonna get your money up overseas? How you gonna survive over there, long term? You see what I'm saying? You niggas, some of you niggas is done. You're finished, bro. That's all. That's all I gotta say. A lot of you niggas getting your passports and stuff. You guys are on your way. A lot of you guys who come around and support the channel and you're getting the passports, you see what I'm saying? You're on your way. A lot of you niggas ain't going to go nowhere, bro. You could talk about leaving the majors all you want to, man, but talking talking is different from doing. I got to go. I got to relax and then get back to work again. Peace out, take care, and bless. I'm out.